A guilty plea from the former student who murdered 17 people during a rampage at his high school in Parkland. Nicholas Cruz faced the judge this morning as the families of his victims broke down in tears. The guilty pleas will set the stage for a penalty trial in which 12 jurors will determine whether Cruz should be sentenced to death or life in prison without parole. These are the faces of the 17 students and staff members who had their lives taken from them on February 14th, 2018, during the attack at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is here now with reaction from these victims' families. Joe. Yeah, the message from the loved ones, the families of those 17 people killed that day in February was that the focus should not be on the shooter, but on the innocent people who died in that attack. This 23-year-old will not see freedom again. In court Wednesday, he admitted to killing 17 people and attempting to kill 17 others at Parkland, Florida's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018. Tony Montalto was in the courtroom today. His 14-year-old daughter, Gina, was killed in that attack. What was it like being there in the courtroom? Being in the courtroom was uh, probably the second most uncomfortable experience of my entire life. Um, my wife and I were, were very uncomfortable being in the room with the murder of our daughter. During the hearing, the confessed killer spoke briefly to the families of his victims and those he hurt, apologizing and expressing regret. But the message rang hollow to the victims, like... Alex Schachter, 14 years old, was shot twice and he died of his wounds. Alex's father, Max, called for capital punishment, saying on Twitter, quote, justice will not be served until he no longer breathes the air on this earth. David Hogg was a student at the high school when the shooting happened and has been one of the most vocal activists for gun reform in its wake. He said the progress on the trial is notable, but shouldn't distract from the central issue. You know, as much as we care about closing this chapter, um, and getting justice for what happened in Parkland, our number one priority is making it so that this doesn't happen again in the future. But for the victims' families, that future will be missing their loved one. For our family, the day started and ended the same way. Our beautiful daughter, Gina, is no longer with us. And uh, this murderer uh, is still uh, enjoying life. The next phase of the trial is the sentencing phase that is set to begin on January 4th. Tom.